Samsung PS42 A451. Stuck in standby. Normally when you plug these in and take them out of standby, you will hear the relay click on the power supply. With this, nothing happens. You can press the buttons all you want. Uh, you can use the remote control on it and it will remain um, stuck in the standby mode. There is a way of getting the power supply out of standby to uh, check all the voltages of the power supply because when it's in standby only some of the voltages are present so you can't really check it. And later on I will show you um, um, a service mode for the screen that doesn't appear in the service manuals for Samsung. Um, but first I'm going to just show you how to take this out of standby. What I normally do is I get a piece of wire and I would uh, ground it. As you see there, it's grounded underneath that screw under the chassis and on this connector here which is CN807 if you, uh, pin 4 1 2 3 4 that is PS on so that's power supply on so by putting my short to ground into that I can get the power supply up and running. Now you will notice there by this light flashing we have activity from the control PCB for the uh, screen. But uh, if I can just lift this up, and as you can see, there's still no picture coming up on the unit. I'll just uh, reposition this now. Unplug the unit. I'll leave my short in to chassis for the power supply. And what I want to do now is take off this cover here. There's four screws holding it in. The bottom ones are normal self tappers. Two top have this little blue plastic on it and they're not self tappers. We now have access to the control board, which is here. On the control board you have these four pins. And by shorting out two pins, these two pins here, connect them together, you could get a jumper lead and do it, but I've just got a screwdriver here. And then at the same time, I would plug it in. I'll just get a shot of it as I'm doing it. Hear the relay clicking. Notice that real, uh, one of these LEDs came on briefly and then went off. Remove the screwdriver. And uh, I'm going to lift this up. And as you can see, we do now have a 
That's great. I could disconnect totally this uh, the main PCB over here. I will just do that again now. I'll unplug it. I'm going to remove the control actually for this main PCB that goes along this cable here. I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. So it's verifying that it's not under the control of the main PCB switching on and off. The control board and the power supply is powering up and controlling. The screen it's not under the influence of the signal board and um, this test should be uh, valid for any uh, any model that has screen type s42 ax yb04 i will just do this again uh, chart out the two left pins this led comes on and this one here remains flashing. Take it off. And as you can see, you see the brightness and we're up and running. That's with no control from the signal board. From that, From that now I can um, safely say that the prob problem lies with my signal board over here. Um, the rest of the set is okay. Um, you can see the voltages for the actual screen on this label here. They are all present and correct um, on the Redfin boards. So um, power supply is good. Um, I hope that's of some help to someone out there. Uh, thanks for watching.